Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of HRD 631. We are now in week number nine. And I just wanted to say I hope everybody had a good week off from school. Uh, probably life continued on many fronts, but school, at least the requirements for doing a discussion post and some other work on, on our class site was not required. So I hope everybody had a little mini break from this class. If you didn't and you actually wanted to get ahead, good for you. If not, uh, I just hope you had a, a good week. So we are entering the final stretch of our class. We are now in week number nine. We have week number nine and week number 10, which we have new content. And then we go into weeks 11 through 14, which as you know, are your opportunity to present your materials your exploration projects to the class. Now, when I say present, I mean really you are going to facilitate. And I'll, I'll talk about this assignment, um, at least the first part of the assignment, which is the learning organizer and the annotated bibliography coming up. Um, it is due next Sunday. So I'll talk about that in, in brief. So let me just give you an overview of week number nine um, in simplistic terms. Week number nine, is chapter 13 in the book and it's on cognitive development and really what this means is how how do adults learn and and what specifically do they do when they're learning as they get older um, two major themes that came out of of this chapter you'll see in this chapter is is they're both fascinating uh, one is dialectical thinking which is really how do you go forward in life. And, and one of the things that um, emerges is that with dialectical thinking, you actually see the paradoxes in life. You can say uh, almost black and white, you can look at a, an issue from do, two different ways and it life becomes more than just black and white. The sky is blue. It, 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 it's really dialectical thinking has to has to do with the contradictions in in life and the contradictions in our own thinking and then the other part of chapter 13 really gets at um, this I, whole idea about wisdom what is wisdom how how do we know somebody is wise oftentimes wisdom is equated with with age and as you'll find out through the readings and through the text this week not necessarily it's like John Dewey said, not all experiences result in learning. So not all life lived. If somebody is 100, it doesn't mean that they are wise. Um, you can also have somebody that's in their 30s or 20s that are extremely wise. So I hope you enjoy these two um, different concepts that emerge through Chapter 13. Now let me get to the materials that we have this week. So right in here. This is where the video that I'm recording is going to go. Have chapter 13 in our textbook, and I'd like you to read Perry's Scheme, which is an electronic reserve. Have a YouTube video, and then upcoming next Sunday is the Exploration Annotated Bibliography in the Learning Organizer, and I'll show you, give you some information on that. Okay, one thing that I'd like you to do this week is we have our presentations coming up uh, facilitations really it's a facilitation you are not presenting to the class you are facilitating our learning in weeks number 11 through 14. there's a link you probably will have to cut cut and paste this copy and paste this into your browser um, sometimes it works directly from here sorry i can't embed the poll in um, doodle doesn't allow for that so follow the link and what i'd like you to do is select a week that you want to present you have one vote so if you want to present in week number 11 if you're an early adopter you want to present right out of the shoot in the first week you will put your name into the poll and click that day so that's what the options are if you've had any problems with the poll I was having some quirky things going on. So if you have any problems with the poll, please let me know. You only get one vote. So if once again, if you want to present in week number 11, you put your name in and select week number 11. If you want to present in week number 14, the same thing. 
once you submit your vote, that's it. Uh, and just say there's five slots per week, so we're going to have some extra slots at the end of the poll. But if we have five people immediately sign up for week number 11, that will be it. So when you go in there, you won't have that option anymore. So please do that. Um, overview of week number of nine, I went over that. I have a really nice YouTube video on Perry's scheme of intellectual development. So I'd like to just touch upon very briefly the remaining assignments that we have for the class. We have the exploration project, which starts, actually it started with the question. And some of you have asked me, can I tweak the question? Can I change the question? Most definitely. Um, that is pretty, I won't say it's common, but it happens quite often where you start digging into it and say, you know, that's not really what I was looking for. I'm looking for a variation of this topic. So the first part of that is a topic. We've done that. The second part is annotated bibliography in the learning organizer. That is due on the 27th. The next part is you will actually present for our class or facilitate our learning in weeks 11, 12, 13, or 14. Remember, fill out the poll and you'll get your slot. And then the learning organizer, learning, learning autobiography is due on May 5th. Then I'll talk about that, not right now, but coming up. If you're interested, there's all kinds of materials here. So once again, read, these are the reads, discussion question, and it's really you can choose adult cognition or in wisdom. Then I have some information. Actually, this is incorrect. I have to correct that. That This is March 27th, which is next Sunday. I have a video on the annotated bibliography and the learning organizer, just what's involved with that. I have some samples and then the sample in different formats. So this should give you an idea of what's involved with each one of those assignments. And there's also all kinds of materials in the syllabus, all kinds of information. And also down here, we have exploration project examples and exemplars. Take a look at these. Both of these are available at this point. If you have any questions on those, please let me know. Preview of week number 11. Week number 11, we're going to be doing a couple of things. We're going to be doing learning styles, and we're also going to be we're also going to be touching upon this whole idea about intelligence and aging. But some of this is, is overlap. And oftentimes what I do is I streamline the last week of content that we have because the, the reality is the people that are going in, the people that are presenting in week number 11, they actually need time to prepare their material. So just so you know, on the 27th, that's when the annotated bib and the learning organizer is, or that's when it's due. The people that are presenting in week number 11, they're facilitating, those will be the ones that I grade and give comments back to. So that's it. The materials, we have an introduction, learning objectives for the week. There's some more materials on Piaget's work. Two studies on adult cognition, a mind map, and Perry's scheme. So this is the, the optional, or not the optional, this is the electronic reserve I'd like people to read. Have a discussion forum, and then upcoming, we have the annotated bib and learning organizer. So please take a look at the syllabus for specific information on what's involved with this assignment. Well, let's talk about for a minute, what is due next Sunday? What, what is involved with a learning organizer and an annotated bibliography? So as you can see from the screen, I clicked on one of the, those links that I showed you before. This is a student, and I just put in fall of 2017. And as you can see from this, this was their question. How do journal, journals and portfolios lead to self-directed learning in adults? So a paragraph about why this is important, and you can put in this section, why is it important to you? Um, this does not have to be anything more than a paragraph. You don't need to write a book, three or four paragraphs. 
just the critical why is this why is this important then we get to what will you be doing well in this case the person wanted us or the student wanted us to read chapter three from journal keeping so this was something that she she or he put online view the powerpoint that they did read chapter 21 in cameron's book the right to write and begin to think of your program portfolio and in, in the adult and higher road if applicable so don't worry about that at this point that's i just put these in as as an example and then respond to the question on blackboard so blackboard now is bright space so these are what the person is going to be asking us to do read view do some more reading think about and then respond to the question so if you are facilitating this week you will actually load these materials and i'll show you how to do that it's very simple you load them into a discussion forum in brightspace so you do it the same way that you've been responding to discussion forums all week and once again i'll have more information on how to do that and then you set up a discussion forum which is once again it's just part of what you're it's part of what you set up for all of your other materials and there's easy ways to attach files and videos or whatever you you want to do um, how will you facilitate a learning so as you can see once the students have read through the chapters articles powerpoint respond to the questions on blackboard i'll post the responses some people do polls some po people uh, actively facilitate the discussion post. Some people summarize at the end of the week what the major topics were. When the module is completed, here are the learning goals. So that is it. That is called the learning organizer. That gives me an idea of what you're doing. It also spells out for the students exactly what you're asking them to do. So what is the annotated bibliography? As you can see, it is this case there were four references and look at the look at the syllabus for do you need three or four so how do journals and portfolios lead to self-directed learning annotated bibliography what an annotated bibliography is simply it is the reference there's the reference and then it gives a, a summary of the reference once again you don't see a lot of this isn't uh, 25 paragraphs it is one paragraph and basically you're telling us about the book what a person can learn by reading it what is the book about um, whatever you want to say in there but once again rather than just listing it you're listing it then you're telling about it so as you can see there are four references in here each one gives a paragraph explaining it so that is it that's what we have for the week. I want to say to everybody, keep up the good work. It gets a little intense over the next few weeks, but if you have any problems, questions, concern, please reach out to me. I'm here to help. If you have any questions specifically on the learning autobiography and or the exploration project, please let me know right away so we can um, solve those and we can we can get on to the next thing. So the only thing to do this week is the learning organizer and the annot annotated bibliography. Now, when you do submit them, please submit the two of them together, just like this. This is in one document. We have the learning organizer, then the annotated bib. So that is it. Welcome back from spring break. Um, for those that were lucky enough to maybe go down to warm weather, Caribbean, uh, Florida, wherever it might be. Hope you had a great time. For those that stayed up in Maine, I hope you had a great time and you're ready to hit the books for the remaining few weeks. We'll see everybody online. Thanks for showing up again and uh, I hope you have a great week.